Welcome to Fusion Fox tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be focusing on dispatching product components or project related materials. Okay, through and we will run through that cycle. Okay, and uh, these dispatches are non billable. Okay, because these are either accessories of a product or they are product components or they are the material to be shipped. To the project to do some work okay so uh, we will run through this cycle and we will try to understand how we can manage this in this application okay so we will log in just before before we we we, we start the cycle i want to just explain what is what is these product components are what this product accessories are okay in order to understand them we will go to mdm and variant okay uh, for example just typical example of this product components or product accessories is a computer okay when we have one computer it can be you know sold in three ways you know you can sell a computer as it is and you can sell the same computer with two accessories one is mouse and one is keyboard okay and it could be a same product you can also sell okay with three accessories which is one uh, mouse one keyboard and maybe mouse pad then you can sell this product maybe with a special offer maybe with printer also so you are dispatching four accessories with the product okay so these four different things are called variants okay these are the product variants okay variant could be anything it could be a same model of car having four different colors could be four variant and in this case where we have a computer so first variant is computer only second variant is a computer with mouse and keyboard and third variant could be this computer with mouse keyboard and mouse pad and the fourth could be with the printer so and only you will book sales order for the main item not for the accessories accessories will be dispatched through a different channel we call it a product component dispatch method okay or project you know dispatches where we are mobilizing products or items to the site project site to do some work okay so in this case we will open one one product okay like where we have already defined some accessories of a product so this is our product fgrb001 and we have this single row deep groove bearing okay and we have one variant only but we can create multiple variants and we can define accessories for each variant okay in this variant what are the accessories right so it could be stainless steel gray it could be you know black steel or sand blasted or it could be aluminium finish or whatever you know you can have different type of variations in the product can be defined here okay then you know in this case when we are selling this particular product fgrb001 with this variant then we dispatch to additional accessories or product component okay and these are the quantities against one quantity of this fgrb001 one piece we dispatch this 20 of these bowls and one this is spare ring okay so let's create a sales order for this particular product and we will see how we can dispatch the product accessories against this particular sales order okay so for that we are going in the sales order now so just to take a note that one was 20 and one was one okay so ring was 20 against one product and the cage the ring was one okay so let's create the sales order and we will go in the sales order and we will create one order okay and we will create this manual we have seen the cycle of against quotation so i don't want to repeat this whole thing so we'll move ahead 
with manual option and this is for spare parts so we will select the customer here which is al Futaim in this case okay and we will be you know uh, we can select the site also so we are selecting the site which is you know Sharja okay and then we go next this operating unit is automatically coming from the person who is logged in his operating unit is coming here and dispatch warehouse comes automatically based on the the setup that you have done okay and then comes is you know uh, you can give customer PO number here okay and select the customer PO date also here and you can define the payment mode as credit transportation mode you can define on your need basis and let's move we will save this order here and then we will try to add the ok exchange rate because this is AED drums and our base currency is euro so we select this exchange rate and we will save this order ok so this is then we will add some couple of you know items in this we will add the same product where we have created this product component or dispatch accessories so we will select this product and we have a list of all these product this was our product okay and uh, we select the price list okay and uh, we have a price list in AED now and we have the 43 is the price variants we will select this stainless steel gray and delivery date we will select let's say okay second okay and order quantity is let's say you know 500 okay and uh, so 500 into 20 will be around 10,000 okay 10,000 piece one and 5,000 will be another accessories 500 will be so all right so we'll go ahead and uh, we will just you know uh, see this and we will add one more product for just you know uh, we don't have accessories for product number two but we will create one more product let's say FG second product all right from here and this also for let's say some 400 quantity and we will select the, the price list here the same AED price list will select and variant also there is no variant in this case so we will keep it simple and we will say 400 pieces of this particular alright so that that's all our order is complete okay we can define delivery date but doesn't make, make a difference so we will save it here okay and our sales order number 15 is generated so we will edit this order number 15 and we will execute it so that it is considered as approved so here we go so next okay and we will say execute it and we will save it all right so it is now considered as approved now we will see how we can dispatch material so for dispatching material we need to first make a dispatch advice so we will go first in same application and we have a application here component dispatch advice okay so we have to make this dispatch advice to the respective warehouse so that warehouse can deliver or issue the material or dispatch the material okay for that we need to add the dispatch here advice and we will select the type of advice okay so we can create a different type based on your requirement you can set up these types which have no uh, sig major significance you can select the sales order here and my order number was 15 okay and then ordering items which was the item this was the first item okay and that's all okay and reason for dispatching this material is already because it is excess product accessory or it is a project shipment you can create various reasons and link the reason here all right so we this is the type actually type we will we should define that this is a product accessory dispatch product component dispatch or it is a project mobilization of material or it is being shipped to the project site or whatever you can create right then we will define the delivery date of this item which will say today only we will deliver okay and we, we we save it here right and we see both the items are automatically coming this two is 500 because it was one against one one product quantity and this was 20 against one so that makes it 10,000 so we have both the quantities available now okay 
so what we will do we will make what is the quantity we want to ship okay you can ship partly also fully also but in this case we want to ship the quantity fully so i am saying 500 quantity okay to ship okay i can also define okay that's all and for second item also i will ship in one shot so i will ship 10000 quantity here in one go right okay so here we go so our advice is ready okay and uh, we will again save it okay it can also follow approval process workflow based approval can be taken on advice also but in this case we will just approve it okay because our objective is just to just to test the cycle okay not to get into the approval processes okay so we will just save it and our dispatch advice number two is ready okay now we have to go to that warehouse we have planned the shipment to be done from central warehouse antwerp so i will log in from central warehouse antwerp and see if that person at the warehouse can dispatch material against this advice okay so we will go back and we will log in and we will log in from central warehouse and work okay and we will go in warehouse management module from here where we will be able to dispatch against this advice so we will go in warehouse management module all right and this is where we have product component dispatch application okay uh, also i would like to explain that these dispatches are non billable we are only running this cycle to dispatch material which are non billable in, in nature okay so uh, billable dispatches to be done through sales order so if these items are billable then they should be part of the sales order and it should be processed like that through a normal you know order to cash cycle but if you have product accessories because you have already covered your price in the main product and these are the accessories or product component then these are non billable okay similarly if you have a project dispatches which are billable then there is a different process here we are dispatching material to the project side only which are not billable in nature okay so here we go we will add this and we will see advice number will come here okay our advice number was two yeah so it is coming here okay i can give the vehicle number okay career name okay okay and then i can say by road or whatever okay i say road and i say okay so both the items come here okay so first item i have load quantity 750 okay so i ships 500 from this okay so i am shipping 500 from from this load and second item again i will ship from this load i need 10000 so i will say 10000 is issued okay is shipped so this completes my dispatch process also and i can edit this and execute this particular dispatch okay to complete my cycle okay and we will also maybe check the stock position of this item the inventory is gone down or not yeah we save it here we can go have a look at these items okay uh, let's see again these items what are the items that we, we have dispatched okay so these two items are sabt001 okay oh sorry this is second number okay i think we will have same items in second also yeah sabt001 okay so we will have a look at warehouse item master okay sf bt001 okay sf bt001 yeah you see 10000 quantity is reduced okay and similarly this is 260 now so 500 is gone down from this also our stock is updated all right and that's all we have in this cycle now because this cycle ends here on display because it's not moving to the invoicing system because this is non billable all right and that's all we have in this tutorial we will have more in next tutorial thanks for watching